Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the negative predicted value. Well, it turns out that it's the exact opposite from the positive predicted value. By definition, we can say that the negative predicted value is the probability that a patient with a negative test result is actually free from the disease or free from the condition they're tested for. Another way to say it is that the, net, the negative predicted value is equal to the proportion of the subjects who truly tested negative compared to all the test subjects that tested negative. So here we have it in short, the, net predict, or the negative predicted value is equal to the true negative results divided by the total negative results. In an equation format, we can say that it's the probability that if you are healthy, you test negative, times the probability that you're healthy, which means the numerator here represents all the true negative test results. In the denominator, we repeat all the true negative test results over here, but we add to that all the false negative test results. With other words, people who have the condition but test negative anyway. So the denominator represents the total negative test results. The numerator represents the negative test results for those who truly are negative, and that ratio is defined as the negative predictive value. And if you then want to write it for short, you can say the negative predicted value is equal to the probability that you're healthy, that you're free from the condition if you test negative. And of course, in terms of testing, you want that number to be very, very high. You don't want to give somebody a negative test result and have a high probability that they actually have the condition. You want this number, this probability, to be as close as possible to 100%. If you're negative, we're almost certain that you don't have the condition. And that's the important aspect of the negative predicted value. We'll show you some numerical examples of that so you can see how that actually works. But that's the definition of the negative predicted value.